shout out to Heike Erika and Anada. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular uploads and your chance to be included in shout outs for future videos. Just up ahead is just a quick video and mention of an affiliate of Dawn Organics. Dawn Organics is proud to be affiliated with PremiumCDs.com. Come here for all your Windows and Microsoft Office keys. They are 100% legal and working. They have easy to follow instructions and great tech support. I also get my internet security keys from here. And I've also over the years gotten uh, many, many Windows and Microsoft Office keys and they all work 100%. So I personally use this website and find that they are great value for money and I've never had any issues with using their products. Be sure to enter Dawn Organics at checkout for 7.5% off these prices. And also Dawn Organics earns a small percentage from each sale. It's a great way to support the channel and also grab yourself a bargain for Windows and Microsoft Office serial keys. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be making some pretty plain soap. It's mainly olive oil. And this is for a um, private label customer over down in Victoria. They have a um, Lebanese restaurant and um, I've actually known them for quite a while. And um, they approached me a really long time ago and they said, can I make pure olive oil soaps or at least mostly olive oil? And I said, look, you know, I can make you 100% olive oil soaps, but it's not going to lather very well. It's um, going to be quite soft. It's not going to be, you know, long lasting. It's going to be like on the mushy side, as you know, pure olive oil is like that. And um, they said, yeah, it's okay. And I said, look, how about, I mean, do you, want to, do you want me to make a recommendation? And they're like, yeah, sure. And I said, how about you allow me to add um, some other oils with it, just a small amount. So it'll help just a little bit with the hardness. And um, I don't know why that's popping out more, but anyway, um, it'll help with the hardness and the lather. And they're like, okay, sure, no worries. So I made them uh, a few dozen and they really loved it. And they actually sell quite well there too. So it's a Lebanese restaurant and, you know, when people, you know, are going to pay for, you know, the night that they were there, their, their, their meal, they just, you know, grab a couple of bars. And in our culture, the Lebanese culture, we have um, very similar to Italian and uh, Spanish. Um, we have lots of native uh, olive oil trees in Lebanon. So I actually do um, have a supplier near me here in Sydney. Uh, they s actually sell the olive oil from where my parents are from. And it's fantastic quality. And I use that olive oil. I go and I get um, a few liters of it. And I use it in this recipe because um, Lebanese, you know, like the olive oil in our culture is really well known and lots of people use olive oil soap. And so what I did was to tweak the recipe. Um, I do 10% coconut oil and I do 5% castor oil and 85% um, Lebanese extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. So I was just preparing the malt as you see because I like them to be straight completely. I don't like them to kind of bend outwards. So I'll put just a little bit of um, cardboard here just to keep it, you know, straight as when I fill the mold and also on the edge too. So I, on this side, I, you know, obviously put it all the way and on that side, so I, you know, do that. And then the, I leave the gaps, you know, through the molds and then I put the cardboard in there and they work perfectly great. Um, I do that with the slab mold too, but you've seen me do that a um, hundred times already in other videos. So yeah, that's pretty much what's in here. It's um, 3% white clay. They like it unscented and just plain. And that's also stable, a stable, a staple in our culture too. Unscented olive oil soap. And um, yeah, so it's 85% olive oil in here, 10% coconut to help with just a little bit of hardness 
and um, leather and the 5% castor oil also to help with the leather and it just you know this ratio of oils it just doesn't leave that you know that greasiness that pure olive oil can leave and of course the softness and the leather so we want to eliminate um, that with our soaps so that's why I like to add a little bit of the coconut and castor so I haven't added the sodium lactate yet. Um, my recipes are so different between batches. I have to look at how much exactly. So I'm adding 1.5% sodium lactate in this. So, so 72 grams. So we'll grab a little tiny glass cup, weigh up the 72 grams. And I need the vitamin E as well, which I'll add to the oils. So 72 grams. 73, that's okay, it's a little bit over. And I will add that to the live water. The live water is below 50 degrees, so it's totally fine to add that to the live water. Of course, as you know, in my live water, I always put sugar and salt as 1% citric acid in this as well so I'll go ahead and pour the sodium lactate in here 1.5% and the reason why I'm doing 1.5 instead of 1.2 like I usually do is because it's got a really high olive oil content so we'll mix that sodium lactate in there's just nothing beats you know like a just a plain unscented predominantly olive oil soap it's just ultra gentle as you know olive oil soap is extremely gentle on the skin and um, you know suitable for all skin types you know and from babies all the way to adults I'll just reuse that little cup I have to weigh 34 grams I think of natural vitamin E 30 34 grams here yeah. 0.7 percent so since it's unscented, I will, if I go a little bit over, that's okay, 35, totally fine. And um, if you go over, that's okay. I mean, I usually go over by one gram, that's not a big deal. It's not gonna harm the skin at all. Um, yeah, so since it's unscented, no color splitting, no scent, I'm just going to add the natural vitamin E straight to the oils. And this is um, obviously, you know, great skin fuel, natural vitamin E, really great skin fuel, and of course prevents um, DOS as well. It's a great antioxidant to use in bath soap. I know you've probably heard me a thousand times say that, um, but I will say it again. <laughs> right, so, okay, I put my glasses on, I'm going to put my gloves on. Can't soap without it. And yeah, so pretty straightforward recipe. The um, restaurant this is going to is called Tata Mona and they are located in Brunswick in Victoria. And I when I whenever I happen to visit Melbourne, I always go there and eat beautiful food. Oh my gosh, the food is so good. And I'm really picky with Lebanese food. Um, there's nothing like homemade and I've eaten at lots of Lebanese restaurants and I just do not like the food but Tatamona it just there's just something about their food it just tastes like homemade absolutely beautiful and whenever I happen to go it's always busy and for good reason because they make good food so <laughs> and it's just got a brilliant atmosphere beautiful atmosphere I've taken many of my friends and people I know there and I don't think I've ever heard one bad word. Everyone said they absolutely love it. So if you are, happen to be in Victoria <laughs> and you live around Brunswick or even if you don't and you want to make a day out of it or a night out of it, um, definitely head to Tato Mona in Brunswick. I'm going to grab my big spatula if I can find it. Yes. Everything's always all over the place. 
and always forget where I put things. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> well, the clay's probably settled to the bottom because um, I was waiting for the lye water to cool. So I will um, definitely give it a nice blend before I add the lye water. And because it's because it is such a high volume of olive oil in this recipe, I did do a 22% water to oil ratio. So it's a very, very steep um, discount, water discount. But um, the reason why we want it like that is because we want it to be a long lasting bar. And as you know, pure olive oil soaps can um, take a while to cure, but um, or at least having a large percentage of it. But really drastically reducing their water content minimizes cure time these are actually perfectly fine to use after the four week mark which i have done many many times and of course the salt and the sodium lactate also in the water really really help um, grab a fuel uh, full cure at four to six weeks so it's just really really great and um, lebanese olive oil is richer just a tiny bit has more steric acid in it so it's not as soft as like Australian or Spanish or Italian extra virgin olive oil and so it does um, uh, harden a lot quicker. And another thing too, like, you know, as you know, I moved away from virgin olive oil. So the Lebanese olive oil does remind me a lot of virgin olive oil in terms of the way it traces and the way it hardens up, but it's exactly the same conditioning benefits as extra virgin. I don't notice any um, loss in quality when I actually use this olive oil. It's actually really, really beautiful. And the brand is Cortaz. And it's just fantastic. So, you know, people that are, you know, Middle Eastern or even from South Asia, they'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yes, so I think that's it. I've weighed out everything. Um, and I'm just going to go mix all this up, give it a nice whiz blend it and then grab it all and throw it all into the molds and then they'll probably be ready to cut I'll say after five hours yeah so about five to six hours these will be ready to cut usually my bars are ready four hours but because of the high level content so I'll give it five hours I'll come check on it um, judge how it feels and leave it probably for another now an hour and then cut it I'm cutting them, um, each log is going to be 12 bars. I'm cutting them at 2.6 centimeters, so just a little bit over one inch. And um, they will weigh about 130 grams after cure. So I'm not sure why I'm sharing all that information, but I just felt like... <laughs> right, so I'm gonna stop yakking and we're gonna make some beautiful, ultra gentle, largely olive oil soap. I don't know what else to say, but that's the first thing that came to mind.